This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to narrate from the Thunderbolts Picture of the Day, titled The Expanding Earth Debate, Part 3, published February 26, 2007. New conjectures about Earth expansion and crustal deformation of Jupiter's moon Europa have been offered in favor of the, quote, expanding Earth theory. But what has actually happened to Europa? As we continue to investigate the two main theories of continental formation currently under discussion on various message boards and in several science forums around the net, some may notice that we are deliberately ignoring several concepts. The, quote, hollow Earth hypothesis, theoretical mirror matter creation, electrogravity, and other detailed aspects to the expanding Earth theory are not germane on this level. In future Thunderbolts Picture of the Day articles, we will consider the electrical nature of gravity and other suppositions. Visual artist Neil Adams has produced a short video in which he attempts to prove Earth expansion using the surface of Jupiter's moon Europa as a template. Adams believes that the fit of Europa's blocks of surface material along the edge of giant rifts extending for hundreds of kilometers demonstrates the principle because S. Warren Carey affected no concern for the means by which the Earth expands. Adams has proposed a new idea in which he details how matter is created and added to the volume of our planet and, presumably, other planets. At this stage of our examination, we will use the video created by Neil Adams as primary documentation and address its problems and assumptions directly. This is Europa, a moon of Jupiter. It has a most incredible surface. Speculation as to its surface composition has included ice, slushy ice, and, well, whatever. Doesn't look like ice to me. I don't think ice pushes up ridges like these, but there you go. Whatever it is, the mineral cracks and spreads as Europa grows. This is the latest photo that NASA has supplied to us on the Internet. See that gash down the middle? It's a tectonic spread. Actually, NASA seems to think so too, which is, yes, a surprise. Let me show you why a spread is the only proper description for what you see here. First, some small cracks happen more currently than the big spread, so we'll put X's on them to mark them. We know they're newer because they invaded the spread here, 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 and here. The rest of the cracks are older than the spread. I've asked Zia to cut up one side of the spread. Thanks, Zia. Now we'll move this side over to the other side and swing the bottom over. Good. All these sides match exactly, so much so that the line that defines the crack disappears. I think anyone can see this clearly. Here's another crack. The land spread up to the right, so let's bring it down and left. There. I believe this is ongoing eruptive silicate growth from the moon's inside. If this isn't growth of this moon, where is this material going? Maybe it's subducting. <laughs> Kidding. Can you spot the break now? No, it's here. Isn't that incredible? The surface area here has been reduced by one quarter or more, and it happens all over this moon. When I saw this photo, I bet myself that the area on the lower right-hand side matched its opposite surface on the upper left-hand side. So let's try it. You can do this experiment yourself using the same photos from NASA. This moon, just like all moons, and all planets, and all suns, and our whole universe, is growing. First, the video clip does not put the images in perspective with the rest of the terrain. The large swaths that cover the surface of Europa are characterized by features that cannot be attributed to spreading, spreading from some kind of tectonic activity notwithstanding. 1. They all exhibit braided formations at varying scale. Nothing in the geomorphology of deep mantle zones can explain braided topography. 2. The curvilinear sweep to the swaths suggests the sinusoidal track of electric discharges rather than canyons that were formed by cracks in an expanding crust. Similar explanations from plate tectonics theorists regarding crustal deformation and surface folding are also refuted by the observational data. 3. In many places along the swath, as the camera pans up, there is obvious evidence that the terrain on either side is underneath the ice, 
not separated by it. Shallower impressions of an elongated raised mound and the smoothed over edges of a dual ridge fault are immediately apparent as the pan begins. The appearance is that of erasure and blurring of terrain caused by the larger swaths, not cracking, eruption, and freezing due to chasms in the expansion zones. 4. Spreading cannot occur in rifts at either side of another rift as in the video and leave behind ridges along the fracture, thousands of meters high. Spreading relieves tensional energy. It does not compress the crust. 5. The end of the video animates the removal of a triangular block from one side of a swath, whereupon it is lifted across the boundary to fit against the edge of its twin. Since the crust was broken into blocks and explosively thrown out from the center of the discharge trackway as the electric arc passed, then broken pieces with ridges and canyons intact are expected to have fallen back to the surface, suggesting that they were separated into discrete blocks because Europa's crust is spreading misses the observational cues. The geological configurations of the giant black swaths on Europa reveal their braided shapes. In many cases, there is the impression of a huge, cylindrical column of helical filaments braided into the surface that wraps almost entirely around the planet. The scorched swaths are long parallelograms 50 kilometers long and 20 kilometers wide, connected along their short sides by narrow dark bands at approximately 45 degree angles. Most of the contours along the perimeter in these features have been contorted, erased, and overlaid with others of similar nature. Areas covering thousands of square kilometers are shattered into blocks with identical form. How did they all spread out over this planet-sized moon? In previous Thunderbolts Picture of the Day articles about Europa, it was shown many times that electric arcs playing across Europa in swirling, wavering blooms of plasma or in huge bolts of lightning are a more satisfactory explanation for what we see. Plate tectonics and Earth planetary expansion theories are insufficient and resort to far more inscrutable mechanisms in the accomplishment of their purposes. In the electric universe, what we see is what we get. Ordinary processes that we can use for experimental confirmation or falsification of ideas are available to us without recourse to a universe that must make use of creation ex nihilo and movement without mechanism. This was written by Stephen Smith, for more information, please visit thunderbolts.info.